You're angry at me. I know you are. Last night, I am. Uh, sorry. No, it's not so much you losing your temper. It's... It's the atmosphere in this house. I mean, everybody seems wary. They're whispering all the time. And suddenly people are descending on us as if we're doing something dreadful. Paul McCortland is a bitter old fool. That's what's bothering you, isn't it? You're afraid he'll get Dixie to change her mind. She won't. How can you be so positive? Because... We were just talking about you. Oh, something nice, I hope. say that uh, you're looking very well. Don't you think so, Brooke? A little anxious, maybe. Dixie didn't uh, sleep very well while you were away. Oh, was that so? Oh, it was nothing, just a nightmare. Pregnant women get them all the time. Well, in that case, we won't do it. We needn't worry. We'll um, talk later. I think Dixie was going upstairs. Uh, yes, I think I was just going to go lie down. I'll get that first, though. Mr. Cuddy. Dixie. Tom, this isn't a, a very good time. Well, it's the time the court's given us. You forgot? <sighs> yes, I'm sorry. I, I forgot. Uh... Well, if we leave right now, we can still make it. We can get the money from Laura's trust fund working by tomorrow. All right. I'll be back at 530. Uh, I think so, unless something comes up at the office. I would appreciate it if you would be here when I get home. I'd like to continue this. Awful. What a terrible thing to do. I had to get out of here for a while. You're going to tell me where you went. All right, all right. I understand you're under strain. But why? Was there any... Was there any one thing? Was anyone unkind to you, Dixie? No. Brooke is so kind. Dixie, when the papers are signed, it can't help but clarify things, simplify things. You know, it seems like everything is already clear to everybody but me. It's perfectly clear to you that I ought to sign those papers. But, you know, it's just as clear to Will and Laney and Uncle Palmer that I ought to keep oh, my baby. I knew Palmer was involved in this. No, he just wants what's best for me. He wants me to move back to the manor. You know what's best for you. And it is not being under your uncle's thumb in that manner. You don't know how hard this is for me living here, though. When you're away, I can't see you. When you're too busy for me. I am never too busy for you. Yes, you are. Don't deny it. And I understand, really. It's just... Ross hates me. That's nonsense. No, it's true. And I think he knows the truth. No. Yes. But if he does, it doesn't matter. Of course it matters. And Mrs. Chandler, all her questions about who the baby's daddy is. I can't stand the way I feel. You feel, um... I feel so guilty. Like I am the worst possible person. Like I am not fit to be with human people. Oh. People like your wife. No, no. This is all my fault. I mean it. It is all my fault. It's... Dixie, it's gotten out of hand. But I've let it get out of hand. I had no idea things were going to play out like this. But Dixie, I think I have a solution. For all your problems for all our problems. What you've got to do is get away from here, all of this. From everyone. Everyone, including you? 
Well, that depends on what you want. For example, you could go to New York. I'm in New York a lot on business. Chandler Enterprises maintains several apartments in New York. Clients and important employees. I could commandeer one of them. Oh, there's one on Sutton Place. It's the best of the bunch. It's beautiful. Overlooks the East River. What would I do in New York? Stay out of the way. You would wait for your baby in the most exciting city in the world, in the most beautiful part of it. You could see plays and go to museums. I don't know. I mean, I... Mr. Chen, I have friends here. I have family. Do you really want to get rid of me? Get rid of you? Dixie, I'm not trying to do anything of the kind. I'm trying to take care of you. Dixie, you're unhappy. Because the people that love you, that, that you love, are pressuring you. Don't you wish you didn't have to deal with them anymore? You need to be alone. You need privacy. You need to listen to your own voice. What about your voice? Well, it would be whispering in your ear a good deal more. At a safe distance from Pine Valley. Oh, Dixie. New York in the springtime. We could have tea in little cafes overlooking the park. Maybe take a handsome cab ride through the park or a taxi downtown, take in a show and dinner. Or there's a wonderful club in the village. We could go down there and hear some jazz. What a sleaze bag. We could go almost anywhere we want. And no one would recognize us. Dixie, we need to be free to be together. Sick. What was that? I don't know. You jumped me. No, no, no. That was something on the terrace. Who was it? I'm more worried about who it was. <laughs> you think somebody was listening to us? We've got to be careful. Please, I'm sure. Look, it was probably just one of Stewart's cats. They love to drink from the watering can. Henry, especially. Look, it's no problem. I'll just clean it up. Here, no, no, no. Let me. You sit. No, no, no. I got it. I got it. Dixie, come on. Okay. That's good. You're so good to me. I want to be much better. I want us to spend some time together, alone. Will you please let me? Can't say no to you. Oh, good, 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 good. You made me very happy. So when do we go? Well, as soon as possible. As soon as you can pack. I'll, I'll uh, order the car right away. Well, what, what do we need to say to Brooke? Just tell her that uh, I sent you away for some much-needed rest and relaxation. Well, I better write a few notes. To my family. Okay, okay, but you better hurry because Br Brooke comes back at 5.30. Okay, okay. <laughs> ah, yes, so am I. So am I. <laughs> Come on. Oh, well, we have a phone at home. I do most of my work by phone, and I want to be around for Scott. Near the bath? In the middle of the afternoon? I work better when I'm relaxed. Do you have complaints about my work? Not yet. Just about my spending time at home. Karen, I have a very good knack for picking up with people who stir trouble. I'm going to be very good for your family, and... Given time, I'll prove Mr. it to you. Chandler. I told the young lady it was personal, Ross, that you'd want to be interrupted. What do you want? It's not what I want. It's what Brooke wants. She requested that you two immediately return to the estate. What's happened? I don't know. Are you still working for her? Well, she asked me to do, do this for her as a favor, and you know how I am with favors. Yes, I do, but why didn't she call me? Well, apparently she had some kind of emergency probate meeting. She was in a hurry. 
But I don't know, I don't care. If you don't want to go, that's your business. Message delivered. This better be good. Are you coming? Oh, yes, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Well, 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 are you ready to go? Ah, oh, you're looking forward to this, aren't you? Will you come to see me very soon? I will, I promise. I want nothing more than to spend time with you. <laughs> Feels like I'm burning all my bridges. No, 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 no. Just, just till things calm down a bit, you'll see. Will you please get this delivered for me? Sure. Melanie, Will, and Palmer. You didn't tell them too much, did you? Oh, no, no. I was very careful. Okay, well, the car should be here. Are you ready? Oh, you, you won't tell them where I really am. Don't worry. Yeah, you need some sort of practice, Well, I'm usually well, darling, you're, you're early. What's this about Ted? Ted told Karen and Ross that I wanted them back here. I wanted to, uh, to have everybody gathered here. I... Did you? No, I haven't seen Ted since yesterday. Marcia, have you seen Ted Martin? No, ma'am. Well, when you do see him, tell him I'm going to wring his neck. What do you say? You want to go back to the office? No, say? I have brought my work home. Ladies and gentlemen, please excuse the deception, but if I had called you here together, you wouldn't have come. So. I took the liberty of using your name, Brooke. But why? I have an announcement to make. A very important announcement. What you don't have is a reason to be here. You paid him off, didn't you? And she's going to get her money's worth. What announcement? Well, you've all been so damned anxious to find out who the father of Dixie's baby is. I thought it was time for you to know.